puppet. And we'll show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a wooden spoon. Once you have your spoon, you decorate it. You need to draw on the face. You can also use googly eyes if you'd like. You can draw on eyes, a nose, and a mouth. I'm using glue to glue on googly eyes. Very important. Don't get a spoon from your kitchen unless you ask an adult if it's okay. You can use anything you have around the house, like newspaper or fabric. So I'm gonna add some hair, but I'm gonna cut it first. I wanna make a golden tie for my guy. You can make animal puppets, fairy tale puppets. You can make a family of spins. I'm making my yellow shirt. It might be a little tricky to color around the spoon, but that's okay. It will still look good. Almost done. Voila, my done puppet. I want his name to be, let's see, Daniel. My puppet's name is Amanda, and she's a princess that lives in the castle. If you don't have a wooden spoon, you can use a plastic spoon like this. These are the puppets we made today. We also made these, and today we are going to show a puppet show for you. Presenting Little Red Riding Hood. Bye, Mom. Oh, here I go into the woods. Well, hello there. Ah! Mother said not to talk to strangers, and you are very scary. Do not be scared. Well, I'm going to my grandmother's house, so I better hurry. Bye! Ah! I gotta get there first. <laughs> oh my, that was such an adventure. Wow, Grandma! What big eyes you have. All the better to see you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big ears do you have? All the better to hear you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big nose do you have? All the better to smell you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big mouth do you have? All the better to eat you, my dear. Ah! Wait a second, no way. You're not eating me. If you're hungry, you can eat some of my cookies. Here you go. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. How to make space sand. Landing in three, two, one. We love playing astronaut, and we're gonna show you how to make space sand so you can play too. The first thing you need to make space sand is a big bowl. The first ingredient you need is three cups of flour. I'm gonna dump the flour in the bowl. The next thing you need is gelatin, one cup of gelatin. I'm dumping the gelatin in. The gelatin color is red, and that will make your sand red too. And now we're gonna mix it together. The red and the white are coming together. It's starting to look sandy. It's starting to turn into a light red, almost like a light pink. There are little pieces of red and white in it. Next, I'm gonna add some glitter. You can put as much glitter as you want. Now we're gonna make a hole in the middle to put baby oil in. It feels very soft. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of baby oil. This is just regular baby oil. Now I'm gonna put the baby oil into the hole. Whoa. And then you mix. <laughs> it feels so mushy. It feels very hard, but it feels also a little bit wet. You could just squeeze it. You could squeeze it like actual sand. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's really cool because you can mold it into any shape you want. Or just play with it. Rover, coming through the red sand. Look, Astronaut One, I found a volcano. Astronaut One, we have discovered red sand. Landing in three, two, one. And that's how you make space sand. How to make a fairy fruit wand. We made fairy fruit wands. I can grant you any wish you want. 
I wish I had fairy wings. Zing! Wow, I love my wings. Now I wish for a crown. Shabing! Wow, I love my crown. We're gonna show you how to make fairy fruit wands so you can play too. First, you need fresh fruit and skewers. We have prepared some strawberries, grapes, and watermelon, but you can choose any fruit you like. Be careful because the skewers are sharp on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the fruits and I'm going to poke it and hold the fruit and then slide it down. Just like this. Make sure you leave a bit of room so you can hold it at the end. My pattern is going to be a green grape, then a red grape, and then a strawberry. Mine is going to be a strawberry, a red grape, and then a green grape. What wishes would you want to grant? I would grant wishes for my family and friends and to make the world a better place. And for me to get a new puppy. <laughs> I would wish for me to have some magical power like the invisible or something. Make sure you have a bit of room at the end so you can put your star watermelon on. Take your watermelon, then take your cookie cutter, and smudge it in. You can ask an adult to help you. Then poke out your shape. And when you're done, it should look like there's a star in the watermelon. Then take your watermelon star and place it at the end. Add it on top. Now it's time for the ribbon. Take a few cut up pieces of ribbon and then just tie it to the bottom of your stick. Perfect. And that's your fairy fruit wand. I wish you have invisible powers. I wish you had laser eyes. I wish you could fly. I wish you could swim really fast. I wish you could make it summer when it's winter. I wish you had the power to change color. I wish you could make a fairy fruit wand. I wish you. <laughs> How to make puffy cloud paint. I love to paint. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make puffy cloud paint so you can play too. The first step into making puffy cloud paint is to get half a cup of flour and pour it into a bigger bowl. Then you should take half a cup of glue. Then you need four cups of shaving cream. That's about four cups. Then you mix all that together. Important tip, do not over mix. You want the shaving cream to stay light and fluffy, so don't mix super fast or super hard. Feels light and fluffy, just the right consistency. Feels kind of like a marshmallow. It feels like a cloud. If it's not fluffy enough, then you might want to add some more shaving cream. The best thing to do is add a little bit at a time. Once it's mixed, this is gonna be your white paint. Put your white paint in each of the little bowls. These will be your different color paints. You mix the food coloring into your white cloud to make it a color. Add more drops to make it darker and less drops to make it lighter. Really stir it good so all of the darker color gets mixed in. But don't mix it too much so it gets not puffy anymore. I think that's about good. Want it to get about this color. And once you make all your colors, you paint. Once you're ready to paint, you want a piece of poster board or cardboard. Because since cloud paint is really wet, regular paper will just soak it up and will rip. So you want a thicker piece of material. You can use sponges, brushes, or even spoons. I'm gonna use some white first to make the little clouds at the side of my rainbow. 
Cloud paint is kind of hard to work with, so you might want to dab it instead of instead of brushing it like you would with regular paint. You want it to be as puffy as possible. You should try to layer over layer so it gets more of that little puffy, cloudy texture. I guess cloud paint, when it dries, it feels like you could, your hands could be walking on a cloud because it feels so good. It feels fluffy and so squishy. Make sure it's puffy so it looks like a puffy rainbow, not just the puffy clouds. I'm using a spoon now because using a spoon, you can drag it out more. You can always spread it a little bit. It's really great to use your fingers because it's okay to get messy using cloud paint. That's half the fun of it. How to make a water xylophone. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. First you need water and glasses. It's important that all the glasses are the same size. So let's try it out. The less water there is in the cup, the higher the note is. The more water there is in the cup, the lower the note is. Now this is going to be the lowest note because it has the most water. Let's try the difference between this cup and this cup. You see the difference? Now let's try it between this one and this one. You see the difference there? And now let's try it between this one and this one. Let's add them all together. So then you keep experimenting until you have the sounds you want. Now I'm going to use some food coloring just to make it colorful. The color doesn't really affect the sound, but it just makes it pretty. My favorite color is either blue or pink. Now let's test it out. That's how you make a water xylophone. And now, for the first ever water xylophone concert in the world, presenting Dun, dun, dun. Abby! Hello, hello everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. city today. We're playing with cars and roads. We're going to show you how to do it so you can play too. Beep, beep, beep. The first thing that you need to make your own city is masking tape. Let's get building. You can make your roads to go up furniture so you can make a hill. We use crayons to draw lines down the tape like a road. I'm going to put roads inside the town square so you can go anywhere you want without having to go around it. After that, we're going to add some trees. We made the trunk with paper towel roll, and we made the leaves with tissue paper. And then we added some buildings. We drew the buildings on some construction paper. I'm going to put the post office right over where the school is. You can use blue construction paper to make a lake. I added a school because I thought it would be really cool to drive a school bus. I like this road through the forest. It's so pretty to drive through the trees. Beep, beep. Uh-oh, there's so much traffic. This 
this is our city! For more great videos like this one, catch here. Come on, come play with us. It's gonna be fun. Or press this button to subscribe here.